This is a tarot reading for ESTP and BTI personality type. So if your personality type is ESTP, this tarot reading is for you. ESTP. things have been stuck in your energy that is going to change soon now when i say they're going to change i mean they're going to change fast so soon and fast there will be people or circumstance that will try to prevent you from moving fast so pay attention to those energies and people that will try to get in the way because they will try okay These people that will try to prevent you from moving on or from going to the next step or uh, allowing the energy to move from stagna stagnation, they want to keep you where you at. You they want to keep you where you are at because they are somehow benefiting from that. Whether this is them being obsessed with your energy and refuse to let you go and let you do your thing, or there is actual benefit, financial benefit or emotional benefit. You know, sometimes, uh, like, I'm going to use that as an example. Sometimes um, you will have your boss preventing you from promoting or preventing you from going to a better job because they like having you there, but they don't want to promote you. But they still want you. See what I mean? So, oops, I forgot to put the mic on. Let me see if it makes a difference. I don't think. Maybe. I don't know. But anyways. I see that there are people specifically that will try to prevent you from moving on or will try to prevent from a new chapter or a new energy movement to happen because they like where you are stagnant they want to keep you stagnant But, you know, even if these people try to, you know, prevent uh, the energy moving fast, it's not really meant to happen, meaning that they will not be successful. So it's important to know that even though people want to hold you back, it's not really up to them. It's not really up to them. Okay. So... But yeah, you will notice that some people will will not talk to you anymore or will try to pick on you and try to plant doubt in your decisions or in your um, energy because they don't approve of the energy moving. It's like they want to influence it. It's like they want to control your life in a way. They want to influence you and the decisions that you make. And somehow it's easier to control you when you are stagnant. And so they're trying to keep you in stagnation so that they remain in control of you. Yeah. I know. Well, well, well. What should you do? Because I do see that the energy will move whether they like it or not. But is there anything else you want to say about this? I'm hearing forgive them and move on. So like I said, there will be people that will show you their true colors and you will be like, well, I thought you would be happy for me. But they won't be happy for you. Because you are making changes that do not approve with their, with their vibration.
whatever this change that is coming in and causing rapid movement in your energy, it's going to cost you the people around you. And I want to say some people, okay, maybe some people that you find dear to you. So be prepared um, to see that some of the people you thought were your supporters, they will show you their true colors and show you that they don't want you to uh, go, get, go ahead and uh, get ahead of them. As they say, misery loves company. So when you were stagnant and things are not moving in your life, they found you to be comforting or found you to be uh, worth being around. But when your life starting to get better or is going to start to get better and the movement of the energy is no longer stagnant, they have a problem with that. There's a saying, I don't remember the exact words, but it's like, it's in the lines of, if you want to know who your true friends are, succeed. If you want to know who your true friends are, succeed, and you will find out. A lot of friends that you have on your side are not really friends, they're just it's, it's like they love you because you're not, you're not better than them. And once you start to do better in, in life, they, uh, they are no longer your friends. So their friendship is circumstantial. And obviously you will, you will have like the opposite side of that, where friends are only because you're successful. But those that have been with you when things were rough, they will not feel happy for you when things are good for you. Because it's a reminder that they are not doing shit with their life. And so they will project that hate onto you. Uh, well, well, well. They do say it's lonely. <laughs> they do say it's lonely at the top. It's true, you know. It's very true. Like I thought, um, I've had this uh, a problem with my best friend. Well. I considered him to be my best friend. Where uh, once I started this YouTube and started making money for myself and as a self-employed, uh, his energy changed. I am no longer a good fit. But anyways, what can you do? You will, you will see that people will show you their true colors the more you become successful, the more you get better in life, okay? And that's just, that's just the cost. That's just the cost that comes with it. Let me see if there's an extra message for you here. ASTP. If things do not make sense, it's okay. Have faith. If things... Okay, so for example, if things don't go according to your plan and things don't make sense to you, it's okay. Have faith that everything will work out in your favor. And I see it will. But your faith will be tested. Okay, because... The way that I see this is like things will not go according to your plan, but it's regardless going according to the plan. Do you understand? It's just not the way you expect it to go. So you thought that you should take the, the road on the left, but then the universe takes you on the road on the right. And then you figure out at the end of that road that, oh, both roads take you to the same place. So if you are confused why you took the right road, um, just have faith. You will see that the left and the right will get you to the same place. 
It's like going to the same place. It's just a different path. So if things don't make sense to you and things you're like, am I really on the right path? Am I, is this the place? I don't know. I imagined it differently or I, um, I don't think that this is it. Have faith, have faith, have faith, have faith. Trust, trust, trust in yourself first and trust in the universe. Trust that the universe will work for you. You don't have to check, double check everything, especially when you are following your dreams, your goals, and trying to um, kind of construct a life of your dream or wanting to accomplish something. Trust in yourself. Remember that you are looked after and you will be fine. You will, you will soon find out that once you've trusted that this, this, this flexible change that occurred unexpectedly is actually the same thing, that it's just a different, how do I explain? It's, it's like a different um, circumstance to what you expected, but the different circumstances is the same thing that is going to lead you to the same thing. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Well, I mean, I don't really know what this is trying to say, but I hope it makes sense for you because it is your journey. It's not mine, right? I wish you all the best and I will see you soon. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Also check out some of the latest readings you might have missed out on on here. We also have the latest t-shirt design on sale this week. The link to that is in the description box.